th- there's so much serendipity that can occur at conferences. I'm sure you you all go and then you leave and you're like, oh my gosh, I had this amazing conversation or created this new connection or built this new relationship. I'm curious, how much outreach do you all do in advance to try to pre-plan some social connections like, oh, let's plan to meet in the bar or let's plan to have a meeting in ad- in advance because I have this desire to want to have a good schedule, but there's so much goodness that comes from the serendipity nature of just being present. I'm curious if anybody can comment on that. I so think we, we do commented. I was going to say, I bet Ray's got a solid, yeah. and that's how yeah. I met you the first time, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Right? So I plan the conference like I plan my day. Um, I have stuff scheduled around around things I absolutely have to get done, but I leave areas for open for creative stuff. The conference is no different. I have like, we're doing tech bar at IT nation. We're doing an event at SeaWorld. We're doing, we have some dinners planned, some meetings planned, but I have big open spaces also. uh, So I can attend sessions. So I can have those conversations. Um, That's the benefit of taking multiple people to the event. So you can make sure all the tasks are attended to, but if you can't block your schedule 14 hours, it's, it's impossible because you're going to miss out on stuff because my metrics for the people at my booths are very different from my personal metrics. My personal metrics are how many meaningful conversations can I have with new MSPs, with people I haven't talked to in the last year. Um, As long as I've met somebody new and had a real conversation with them, that's a win for me. Uh, Obviously, the booth and the salespeople have different metrics. I think all of the MSPs that I talk to will say that the the most value they get is from the networking. So I think to Ray's point, it's important to have those conversations and lots of opportunities to be different places as well. Um, you know, anytime I'd been to a conference with a whole team, the whole team was not allowed to stay together because then you're just, you know, it's the same hive mind that already created whatever problem you're there to try to solve. So to, you know, split up and aim to to network and see who else has a similar problem, right? Mm -hmm. Be it a vendor who has solved that problem or other MSPs who have either solved it or are looking for a solution to brainstorm. That's all of the MSPs tell me it's the networking in addition to the swag, of course. Uh, So we have some that have, you know, we have some of our partners that have agreed to come. Uh, They said they'll hang out at the booth and we'll give them, you know, their own t-shirt, which we only give out to those folks. So, I mean, there's, there's a balance of that as well. Well, just to give you a, an example, um, so I have two salespeople staff for the booth. I will rove sessions or hallways or at the bar. I usually get my space at the bar. Um, those that have attended with me, uh, you know, it becomes my private meeting area. Um, you know, and then I have somebody going, creating content and keeping things on schedule. That's Simon's job. He creates video content, interviews people and, and moves. And then we'll alternate depending on the time of the day so that, you know, somebody else can go rove and have those, you know, happenstance meetings. Um, and then I'll work the booth and, you know, and do miserably and <laughs> do horribly, but like every, we have these rotating tasks so that everybody can have those kismet moments where they just meet somebody and they get to introduce to somebody else. Um, that's, that's one of the most valuable parts of the conference as far as I'm concerned. Well, it's purposeful time management. And and I think with that, do it before you get there. If there are things that you are expecting yourself to perform or to sessions to go to, put them in your calendar, put what room they're in. So that way you don't have to then go into the app or have that chaos or, oh, hey, sorry, I'm in this conversation. I got to exit myself because I got to get to that session, right? Have that purpose. And I think the other thing too is, right, a lot of stuff that we're referencing right now is like MSP to vendor, but don't be afraid to network with other MSPs. I see it so often of, you know, Mm -hmm. MSP owner doesn't want to talk to another MSP owner. And and it's so awkward at times because Mm -hmm. those sounding boards are so important, especially if you're not in competing areas. And I get the whole concept of competition, but having that other MSP owner as a sounding board that you can build a relationship to, it's going to pay itself off in dividends when you have someone you can reach out to and say, Hey, I got an idea, you know, check my facts, check my, check if it's a good idea or not. Us vendors do it all the time. I was going to say, just, just from having this podcast alone, I've learned a lot from all your perspectives. Right. And I think that's a big thing for for, on the attendee side, because I've been on that side. I've attended a lot of events and, you know, especially when I was younger, because a lot of the MSP people that go, business owners, they're not afraid to talk to people. But the younger crowd, they're very afraid to talk to people. Sometimes it might be intimidation, but I would highly encourage vendors to reach out um, and the attendees to really try to get those conversations going because 
it's easy for everyone to get stuck in their bubble every single day with the daily operational stuff. But the event is your opportunity to really open up that creative juice and and see what better ways things can be done. I think I think that what the word here is uh, intentional, right? So whether you're intentional to attend a session, whether you're intentional to have new connections and conversate with other people, like I think the word here, at least for me, when I attend a conference as an attendee and not as a vendor, I try to be intentional in the things that I do. I try to make it a point to like, I'm going to talk to five new people before the next session. I'm going to talk to two new people before tonight, like, and be very like deliberate and intentional on what it is, you know, so that I can get the most out of it, but I can also contribute back to others as well. Being intentional. 